Welcome back to this episode of Sipping Slowly. I am Jeanette from Whiskey of the Week. And I am Rulia, blogger bay behind Boozy Foodie. This week I have got a monster. Ooh. A peat monster. The Octomore Scottish Barley. Ooh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. I mean, that is just... What have you got? Whoa, something total opposite. <laughs> Lueferen Wines recently released this uh, Pinot Grigio Rosé. Uh, first one in South Africa, so um, just in time for summer. Um, so yes, we can, we can try that. It's going to be the light and the dark episode. Yes. So Rulia, what are we sipping this week? Uh, this week, and to just look how pretty this label is, I don't know if you're able to see it. It's beautiful. It's, it's so lovely. It's nice and fresh and spring and everything in a bottle. Um, this is Van Loo from 2018 Pinot Grigio Rosé. Um, the name is Perlay de Jean. Um, and it is, it's named after the family matriarch. Um, and yes, I think this is just, I really like... I have to ask, what does uh, Perlay mean? Perlay is actually uh, just a light sparkle. I mean, that's basically what it means, that it's got a little bit, so the proof is in the pudding now. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, it oh, sparkles. Oh, Phew. Relief. Um, so it's nice and, and refreshing and fizzy. Um, it's, yeah. Have a sip and tell me what you think. It's drier than what I expected. Mm. I expected it to be quite sweet. Mm. I must admit, I also thought it would be a little bit more um, semi-sweet, but this is lovely and it's, it's so refreshing and it's just like strawberries. I love the colour. It's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. The colour is, is it's sunset. Mm. Sunset hues, it's a beautiful colour. I will actually, and this just popped into my head just now, I will actually make like a frosé, like a frozen rosé. Mm sorbet type thing with it and um, I think this is lovely it's just a nice summer supper mm. what would you pair this with um sushi yeah. um nice fresh salads uh seafood those kind of Salmon. things mm. something that's that's light and fresh I wouldn't go for food that's too creamy or heavy mm. or whatever so ideal for um your summer evenings Mm. It is it is delicious and it's not overly sweet so it's really lovely it's really soft and 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 dry mm. and that makes it really and I drinkable like, I, I really like the fizz I mean it's yeah. really just add something it's lovely it's different mm. So Jeanette what are you sipping this week after that very light and sparkly pinot grigio I have got something dark. <laughs> Come on to the dark side. Black and dark. <laughs> this is the Octomore Scottish Barley, one of the most peated whiskies in the world. Mm -hmm. so, sorry. Mm -hmm. This is peated at an enormous, I think, 167 ppm. Oh, wow means this is a lot of peat it has also got a very high ABV so be careful mm -hmm. add water in other words no no we'll try it yeah. but Sweating from Isla, Isla oh wow in Scotland part of the um, We've had the Bruchladig before, mm -hmm. the very beautiful oh, yes, bottle, the turquoise, the turquoise bottle. bottle. Yeah, okay. Um, the, with the turquoise bottle, the Bruchladig has got no peat. Mm -hmm. This is right on the other side of the spectrum with monster peat. Mm -hmm. We actually tried this at Maldabad Whiskey as well, yeah. in Dahlstrom. Oh wow. Yes. Tar. <laughs> oh wow, this is ash, Maybe. smoke, peat. Mm -hmm. No, this is dark, but I love this it though. is just, it's, mm. I don't know what it is about this ashy, starry, medicinal, but there's something. Mm. Do you want to try it without water? No. No. <laughs> just give me a little bit, just a little bit. 
here just a little bit. There's something about this smells like an old castle. Yeah. <laughs> it's just oh wow. This is beautiful. Sure. Is that worth the work? Yeah, no, it wow. is. It is. And there's fruit, it's complex, there's fruit. And of course, dark whiskies or heavy peated whiskies does pair nicely with chocolate. So I actually tried two. Okay. I got two chocolates. The one is a darkish chocolate with salt. Mm -hmm. To pick up on the salt sort okay. of note. And the good. other one is the Lindt Raspberry Intense to pick up on that fruity note. Mm. Okay. So let's try the, the dark one first. This is the one with the salt. Eh? It's a salty one. Mm -hmm. And that's to pick up on that coastal thing of this, this whiskey standing there on the coast, exposed to all the elements. Wow, it makes such a difference. Mm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> mm. This is not a whiskey for everyday drinking. This is an expensive whiskey. This retails for, I think, about 2,000 Rand. It's an mm -hmm. expensive whiskey. This is not for everyday. But if you're looking for something special, something to treat yourself with, something different this is it mm. not everybody likes the heavy repeated stuff and i think it's very much an acquired taste um but it's really it's really lovely and and you think it's going to to sort of be if you think of tar and ash you think why would you want to drink that but there's, there's something yeah. below that there's a, a fullness a complexity mm. a richness mm. um, that's below that. So this is the, the second um, the chocolate, the Raspberry Intense. And then mm. dark chocolate. Now, now there's only fruity notes. Mm. Can you feel? Totally different. Mm. Fruity notes. Mm. It's just lovely. <laughs> I'm just. <sighs> no, this is this is beautiful. It's really, really something different. I think for um, a peat lover, um, this is this is the ultimate. Yes. We should actually maybe in one of the future sipping slowly talk about peat yes. and what does it mean and where does it come from. Um, if if you know people that are not that familiar with with whiskey. Um, because it's quite an interesting process and, and everything. Yes. But it just adds such a depth, depth, depth to yes. uh, to the whiskey. It's lovely. Mm. And you can taste that it's a, a whiskey from Isle. Mm. Mm. Very distinctive. You can, mm. It's just got that. It's island. It's there's coastal. There's salt. Mm. You are. It's like you're stranded on some other island that's exposed to all the elements and the. There's north wind <laughs> coming past and there's rain. Yeah, and I just storms. see Highlander in front of me, Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> but it's lovely, it's yeah. a really lovely one. Oh wow. This was a this was a brilliant choice. Mm. And that was the light and dark episode <laughs> of Sipping Slowly this week. A very light, soft, drinkable wine. Mm-hmm. The, the, the Palais de Jean. The Palais de Jean. Yes. And the very dark and very heavy peated octomore. Mm. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and see what else we get up to. You can also subscribe below and leave us some comments. We'd love to hear what you think. Have a great week and we'll see you again next week.